BYU women's volleyball coach Sean Olmstead back on set. Stash is looking a little bit more healthy. Healthier, yep. A couple That's wins nice. will do that. A couple <laughs> wins will do that. <laughs> okay, so the, the OTS, the Olmstead Tourney Stash, as it has been dubbed by BYU women's volleyball, the picture came out, and, and I understand that you got it from your sister at church yesterday. I, I had no, I, I, I don't have Facebook, I don't have, all, I don't have Twitter, I don't have any of that. I'm sitting, uh, I'm actually Elders Corn. We had to go to primary to help the the women were doing something Relief Society. Okay. So I'm sitting in primary, and I get a text, and you know, I'm kind of looking at my phone, and I'm, oh crap, like oh my gosh, because that's <laughs> the last thing I intended. And then uh, I think it was Jerem. I think you were on the text last night at about 10 or 10:30. And it had now gone to AVCA Vol, and I'm like, oh no, because now it it's you know, it's now it's even. You got the other coaches just, uh, who's this young knucklehead? And and so uh, we'll see. You know, uh, it, it just gets better and better with each win, and I guess uh, the girls enjoy it, so we'll keep it rolling. First, then first then there's all, the why, selfie. Why, yeah. why, first of all, why are you on your phone and during church? Hey, well, well, hey, that, <laughs> I, I, I admit it. I admit it. You know, but uh, I, I had to worry about travel. We got a, we got some oh, big okay, competition. Okay, there's some, some things I had to take care of. I, I, yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's a good excuse. Yep. I'll take that. Are you driving in a big semi rig? Yeah, like, I, well, out I, to, uh, I do. The, next... the hat's fitting. My best friend owns the, this company, and so I thought, you know, I, next week we win uh, cowboy hat and boots he's, and all. Wrangler, tried, he, Wranglers. He's he doing a little bit of neon color. We tried to a little bit. I mean, he's got the electric it out. blue yeah, vest. I've got the camo shoes that go with the hat, oh, you know, yeah, so yeah. It, it's. I, you know, I thought I, you were going hunting. I'm smart. I'm hey, smart you know, about it. I will never question your fashion. <laughs> I'll never do that. You can't. No, you can't. Got to respect it. Back to the Sweet 16 for a third straight year and and it goes without saying that that is that's unbelievable it's hard to get there once but three years in a row what does that mean to you in the yeah days? you know I, it's it's weird because I still I, I'm I'm worried yeah I mean now we got a big matchup so I, I I mean honestly I haven't sat and thought about it and and in coaching it's there it's always the next thing and so you want to enjoy it you want to be excited but it's okay, now we got Florida State, and now we got, you know, okay, let's, when are we going to travel out there? When are we practicing? Let's be smart about everything. You're trying to be calculated, and, and you're trying to get the kids in the best possible shape and position to succeed. And so I haven't, I really haven't thought about it, and, and, and I didn't even know. I, I kid you not, I was outside on, on, sitting on a bench in uh, Tucson that night waiting for the girls to get on the bus, and I'm, I think I'm talking to my wife, and one of our players comes up, and gives me the high five signal and she says congrats on win number 100. I, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know. I, I kid you <laughs> yeah. not. And uh, hey, thanks. You know, tell your dad thanks cuz she said my dad said congrats and and uh I so it is remarkable for these kids. I mean, that that really is. I can sit back right now for a couple minutes and go, "Wow." You know, back to back to back. Someone someone sent me a text and I didn't know who it was, so I can't respond if if I don't know because it could be who a recruit. Are you? Yeah. yeah. But someone's like, "Congrats on back to back sweet 16." And there was a part of me that's like, "No, no, no. Hold on. Back to back, back to back." back. Yeah. And I wanted to <laughs> respond, right. but I didn't want to get in trouble, you know. But no, I I'm I'm happy for these kids and and there's just there's some I I'm, I'm I'm working with some remarkable athletes. Don't get me wrong, and I know that they're the secret to this whole thing or they're the magic however you want to put it and I've got a great staff so it's exciting for for those people and and we'll see how long we can keep this thing and the stash going coach you guys have won nine straight matches how important is it to peak at the right time get that momentum towards the end of the season and heading into the postseason yeah that's it's a great point I, I think it's it's really, really important. It's a lot of it has to do with the confidence, um, kind of, you know, what do people want to call it? Some swag that the yep. kids have. And uh, and that's really important right now. And so we're trying to be kind of, like I said, calculated about how we approach this week, yeah. how we approach our practice opportunities so that when we get on the floor, the kids are feeling spunky, they're ready to go. And I tell the kids all the time, we're going to kind of feel like spring chickens, ready to go. And uh, <laughs> the kids like that, and, and they understand when we're, you know, practice is short or how we're approaching different, different things each day. Okay, so let's talk about what happens over the next few days. What are your travel plans where are you going? You match up with Florida State, obviously, but what happens yeah. Ne next? Yeah, so we're gonna um, we're we're flying out. You know, we've got today. We've got a team meeting at, at three o'clock, and and we'll do a couple things there, and then we've got 
we've got a flight at uh, Wednesday at 845. So we're going to be able to practice in the Smith Fieldhouse, which we, we want to do. And uh, we'll take the, we're get, we got the last flight to Seattle, a direct flight. And then we'll get to the hotel, just get the kids in, in bed as quick as we can. And, and then we have some, we actually get to be in the arena uh, Thursday morning. And that's going to be, that's going to be a good quality practice where we get about an hour and a half and uh, we'll use that entire hour and a half. And uh, then the kids, you know, we have the film prep, we have all that stuff that, that happens after. And uh, then, you know, another practice Friday and then match time. So, Is, is, is there any fun things that you guys do? I mean, I, I, I'm just trying to compare it to a bowl game, right? How you, no. and, and you have, obviously there's longer time, you have about a week and you can, you know, go to parties and whatnot. No, this is, that's a funny comment because I was driving down to get the bus for the last road trip. And mm-hmm. I remember they had the guy, I think his name's Carlos Padilla. I, I yeah. remembered it because oh, yeah. it was yeah. a span and he was getting interviewed on, on a local sports show and, and he's telling me the schedule, and I'm like, come yep. on. And then Hol- <laughs> Tom Holmo, direct- athletic director, joined our team, and I said, Tom, I just heard the interview with Carlos Padilla. Yeah. You're going to a football game, yeah. or are you going on a yacht party? <laughs> I mean, are you, you got to bring your uh, my little, my those top cider shoes or whatever. Right. You, you know, you tell them, you know, we're going sailing, we're doing this. So let me answer that. No, there's none of that. These girls know that it's a business trip. I mean, last year we went to Hawaii, and I told the girls, hey, anything that you want to go find or shop, you can find it online when we get back. We're not here to go <laughs> shop down in Waikiki. We're not, and it's the same approach. You know, Seattle. We're, we these kids. They they want to accomplish something that you know. We we know that we've been to this round the last three years, and I yeah. know that these kids are hungry to move on beyond that. And right. and these kids are going to take that approach. That's what I'm impressed with. Is they're going to take that approach, and uh, they've been doing that, and I believe they'll do that. And so there there is no fun events. Uh, it's all business for us, but that's kind of how we like it, and that's how we've done things. You're talking time. about the swag. They've got it. You're you're down 19-13 in the fourth set. You go on a 12 to 4 run and you beat Arizona on their home floor. Yeah, I, I imagine the confidence will follow you to Seattle. Good luck against Florida State, coach. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me always. Good luck with the stash as well. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs>